Hey guys, you're here with Chris from Zombie Gamers again. This time is the start of a new Let's Play. It is Spider House, the video game. Um, I thought I'd do this one because, you know, Constantine's coming to an end, hopefully. Not that I don't like the game, but oh, those checkpoints are starting to get tedious. So um, this will be taking over its place while Constantine goes. So each of us will upload, like, a maximum of two videos a day. And because I have a whole bunch of games to do, I'll upload two videos a, a, day, a day. So... It'll be this and another game alongside it, which is Alan Wake. You've seen the Let's Play start, hopefully. Well, if you haven't, it started Let's Play that as well. Um, I was originally... This game came out in 2010. And I saw it as it was coming out. I was like, oh, this game looks awesome. And then the critics completely destroyed it. Um, but they shouldn't have. It's a really good game. The only bad side I can see to the game are the cheap deaths and stuff, which were oh so lame. You could die so easily. And then the loading screen times to you know, restart, just, they fucking sucked, okay? But this game by itself is amazing. I mean, the replay content alone, if we go down here, just cheat, preview. <laughs> um, but all three original Spider-House titles, which, you know, the old school ones, but you have those to play as well. So on top of that, and an arena mode, survival arena, and all the collectibles and stuff you got, the replay value is amazing in this game next to the amazing story mode it has. So um, if you guys haven't, you know, uh, watched uh, any videos or stuff about this, watch some, or watch this, check it out, um, it's definitely worth the, what, 20 something dollars I paid for it, because it's pretty cheap now, well, if you can find a cheap copy it is, um, so yeah, definitely recommended, even for retail price, I would pay the retail price for this game, but um, the cheap price is just amazing by itself, so this is a new Let's Play, um, I will continue with this. If I don't get sidetracked with Deadly Premonition and fall in love with that. So, um, yeah, uh, I play this game from start to finish pretty fast. It is like a, a shortish game, but, you know, all the replay value and stuff just makes you keep going. Plus, you unlock a new difficulty setting after you finish the game, so you go through it again on that. Um, but it's easily one of my top games. Not my favorite game, but one of my top games. So, um, ever since I started playing Alan Wake again, I sort of fell right back in love with it. Not many games that can sort of come, you know, compare with it and stuff. So anyway, we're going to get started with Splatterhouse. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I know I did a lot and I get to do it again, which is even awesomer. So here we go. Oh, cool. I get to keep my unlock skills. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Do I keep my unlock skills or do I not? You know, no, I'll start a fresh let's play. Make a wish? Okay. I want us to be together until the end of the world. listening right now. What do I want? Not the same as any god. Little faith. For without faith, I am nothing. And without me, you're fucked. She doesn't have to die. I can help you. I can heal your wounds. We can save her. If you show me some faith, if you trust me, if you put me on... Oh. 
quit whining. Did I say it was gonna be fun? You're gonna have to learn to love the pain. There's a lot more of it to come. What have you done to me? What am I? What am I? You're mine, Rick. Jen. Until Jen's back safe in your arms, you're mine. Phase one, Satan's Mask. What's happened to me? To us. You're wearing me, I'm inhabiting you. We're a team now. You help me get what I want, and I help you get your girl back. What the fuck is going on? Alright, so the first thing you probably guys noticed is that this game is insanely gory, which is awesome. Um, if, unless you, you get, uh, unless anyone on out there is a bit squeamish. Um, but if you guys like gore, you guys like blood and like stuff like that in video games, you're going to love this game. The goriest game I've ever played, hands down. Um, and the, oh, this whole game is just, it's not only amazing with the storyline and stuff but it's so much fun to play and there's not heaps of games that have come out you know that i've played a lot of that i can say i've had as much fun with as this um instead of being you know like emotionally well, you're emotionally invested in the game in parts but this it really you know it's about the gameplay and while the storyline is amazing you play because you want to beat the shit out of things <laughs> um but yeah it's it's cool that it has that gameplay and that story alongside it. I forget how many enemies I have to kill this stuff off with. Ah, it never forgets your first kill. Ah! Oops. Too much for you, Rico? Shit. Humans are so fragile. <laughs> Tears still weak. We have to take it slower. Build your strength. Ah. So, um, uh, the, um, the mask and, oh, here we go, the mask and Rick, uh, next to Venom and Spider-Man are probably the best symbiotic relationship I've seen out of, like, a video game or a comic or a TV show or whatever. So use that. I barely ever use that, because it's, sometimes you have absolutely no idea what you meant to do, but most of the time it's a pretty good idea. So you don't really need to use that much. Um... The mask is so funny in this game, it's, um, insane. Uh, and you sort of learn new things about the mask while the mask and Rick are talking, um, which is really, really cool. A lot of the reviewers I saw uh, said that, um, you know, pretty much you can just button mash throughout the whole game, but it's it's really not like that. Uh, maybe for the first couple of levels, you can just like completely button mash, but you will die in the later levels if you button mash too much and um sort of just stay in the ba in the battle. Well, I'll try and get a spider kill. There we go. These things are awesome. Yes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you get like pretty emotionally invested into the characters, uh, like into like with Jen and Rick's relationship, um, and it's cool finding out stuff about the mask. Oh shit, I'm about to die. See, so even now. So that's pretty much the move you use if you're about to die. Uh, it'll it siphons blood away from enemies and heals yourself. There aren't heaps of these different like variations of these spider kill things. Um, but the ones that are there are really cool. 
Shit. Let's just pull his lungs out. There we are. <laughs> I just ditch it on the ground. Oh, that's awesome. Shit. Oh god. So that purple bar up the top is my health. <laughs> um, the loading screens are ridiculous in this game, so obviously I'll <laughs> I'll just delete it out completely. So <sighs> see you guys in a minute. See so with the upgrade system, the like okay, blood is a currency in this game to upgrade your skill, which is awesome. Upgrade your play, which is awesome. Um, first thing I'd have to do is upgrade health because it's like number one. <laughs> Everything else comes second to health, pretty much. Even the um. The necro bar, which is like the red things you saw before. So purple bar is my health. The bars next to the skull are my like power up, skill uh, bar thing, energy bar. Whoops. <laughs> See when they go red, you can do those awesome um, cinematic kills, spider kills. Yeah, once these guys start attacking you and you don't move, they'll literally keep attacking you. You can't get out of it. Uh, until they stop, which is like, I think it's like three attacks. But that pretty much takes down most of your health bar at this stage. Thankfully, these cinematic kills do heal you a bit. But if you look at Rick right now, like, he disintegrates in real time. So, the more I take damage, the more you, like, see his, like, <laughs> bones and stuff. It's awesome. Um, there's also, like, gramophones, um, like, recordings of the Doctor of the Mansion's notes, uh, of his journal. I'll put those up and stop talking when I'm playing them, because they play a big role in, uh, saying, like, the backstory and stuff of the game. Pop! <laughs> See, this game is amazingly fun, um... I'd get it for the gameplay alone, even if there wasn't a story, but thankfully there is. I'd suggest anyone getting it, unless you're a bit squeamish. Um, thank God it, yeah, well, not thank God, but thankfully it has the um, cinematic y sort of look. Ah, uh, not cinematic y, comic book y sort of look, um, as opposed to super realistic. So, if you are a bit squeamish, hopefully that helps a little bit. Kind of like a Borderlands slash Darksiders esque style. Oh shit, there was a gramophone back there. Well, it looks like I'm not going back through. <laughs> Jennifer! It wasn't, it wouldn't have been that much of a deal, don't worry. Shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, just. Make it sure you listen to everything the mask says. The mask says is hilarious. So I suppose I'll give like a brief overview of what's happening so far. Um, you came to this mansion with your girlfriend because she got like a chance to interview the crazy doctor in here. Um, he kidnaps her, I'm not going to spoil why. Uh, you pretty much, as you saw in the start cutscene, your insides are actually falling out of your stomach, which is awesome. But yeah, you um, get messed up by one of the animal creature things and find the mask and put it on and... Here we are. <laughs> um, I can honestly say that the ending took me by surprise. I didn't expect such a like a, a twist ending, but it's just so cool. And like a boss, you just go bam. So yeah, there's like this is a weapon. Basically, you pick up like four by fours with nails sticking out of them. Um, giant machetes. Or like cleavers and um, chainsaws, shotguns, and souls. Get a load of this thing, huh? <laughs> a 
laughing fish. So yeah, he's pretty much one hit all the uh, minor enemies, but they do disintegrate pretty fast. Uh, it's the same even with the shotgun. There's no actual ammo, it's just disintegration sort of thing. You can upgrade it so that your weapons disintegrate. Uh, not as fast, but... Oh, and another cool thing with the upgrade system is that as long as you don't need to... As long as you're not required to um, unlock uh, moves before that to unlock those moves, you can just unlock the all the moves that are already unlocked. Here, I'll show you. Um, Alright, it looks like I can't. Well, I'm in a fight. Oh shit, I was meant to run through there. Oh yeah, the mask actually lights... I think it drinks blood? I have no idea. Feed its hunger. Hopefully that fireplace opens up again. <laughs> See, this like damages the enemies as well, or at least stuns them anyway. Oh shit. Go, go away. I forgot I don't have all my combo moves uh, that I unlocked. Oh, and I won't find any of the collectibles that I've already picked up and stuff. But, um, the main collectible in the game is finding, like, uh, scraps of pictures that Jen's dropped as, like, a trail. Um, that are actually, most of the time, pornographic pictures. <laughs> Which is, in my opinion, pretty cool. <laughs> but obviously I can't... Oh, shit. Shit, 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 girl. Yeah. <laughs> obviously I can't put those on YouTube, so... If you want them, I'm sure you can Google search them. Otherwise, um, get the game. Unlock them yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Actually, oh, I can't un open the unlockable screen at all. I hate those things. There we go, here's a gun phone. From the journal of Dr. Henry West. I had gotten that one. It's changed much since I first built it. Your wings and floors have been added. Hidden cellars, dungeons, excavated. And outbuildings have grown up in the grounds around it. It has its secrets. And it has guardians to protect those secrets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll open this door. Yeah, that's right, you literally get your arm ripped off sometimes. And then you can beat up people with your arm. Yes, that is right, you can beat up people with your severed arm, it's awesome.
Yeah, yeah. Another gramophone. So he studies uh, necrobiology, which is, I assume, necro bringing back biology, uh, you know, bringing bring back things from the dead, pretty much. <laughs> Yep, just ripped him in half. <laughs> Alright, hopefully this next room is where Dr. West is. Jennifer, you're lost. Where do we go now? Okay, so you guys, I just picked up a picture, but I'm gonna blank that out because, you know, it just completed a picture set that I had. See, this elevator is like fueled by collecting blood. Oh shit. So he's having char to charge like a heaps full health bar. So yeah, I just ripped his arms off, and I can pick them up in the game to hit people with them. Um, Alright, you guys, I'm gonna leave it there before we go up the elevator. Uh, otherwise, I'll run over time and be too long. So, uh, I will see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Let's Play Splatter House. Uh, it is insanely gory, and it just gets gory as it goes on. So, in my books, that's an A. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time with the next Let's Play of whatever we're doing. Um, watch for my videos. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, alongside uh, Jamie and James. And Justin and Taylor will be bringing out theirs every um, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That always gets me every time. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys later, and yeah, sayonara. This is Constantine, John Constantine, and I'm here on behalf of my friends at Zombie Gamers to tell you to subscribe to their channel and like this video. You do that, and I'll keep sending these filthy half-breeds back to hell. We'll both do our parts to keep the balance, because sure as hell, no one else will.